Last year, I was able to grow my subscribers from 300 to 800 in 11 months. I thought I was doing amazing, but I wasn't. I was able to double those figures and get monetized in under two months. Let me tell you what I did. Hello beautiful people and oh, welcome to my channel. My name is Monica for those who are new. Thank you so much for stopping by. I create beauty content and I talk about my experience of growing up in a high control religion and I warn people about this religion, this cult. And it's a very weird niche. Yet I was able to grow, able to monetize and here you are to learn how I did it. So let's get into it. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to talk about four things that are going to help you grow your channel today. We're going to talk about your upload schedule because I know a lot of you want to know how frequently should you post. So we're going to talk about that. Then we're going to talk about keywords because that's very important. Then we'll delve into content. And lastly, we're going to look at your aesthetics and the feel of your channel. So why I was able to grow my channel this quickly is because I was selected for the YouTube Made For You program, a program where YouTube selects up and coming content creators and established content creators across the African continent from Nigeria, Kenya, and South Africa. And they basically trained us on how to be content creators. They didn't boost our content, none of that. They just gave us the tools and we used the tools to grow our platforms. So I'm gonna share with you all of the knowledge that I obtained for free so you have to subscribe and i hope it helps anyone out there who just needs a little push ideally you should be posting every single day i know that is hard it sounds ridiculous but you can do it you can't do it right now in the beginning but that should be your ultimate goal you should be building up to post every single day so that you're able to grow your platform and then once you've reached a nice figure you can then slowly trickle down to posting less so you're going to post every day not for the rest of your youtube career but just to build a following or a community so for me when i started the youtube program i could definitely not post every day it was so much and i was already going through so much so just a little backstory story about me is that at the end of January I actually quit my job because I was tired of toxic workplaces and I was going through a lot my father was dying from cancer and I was dealing with depression anxiety and it was just a lot so I quit my job to pursue content creating full-time what a risk and it only paid off a year later so I'm just telling you guys that it does take time so then back to your uploading schedule, you'd need to post as much as possible. So for example, if you only post once a week, push yourself to post three times a week so that if you don't make it to three, you post it twice and that's definitely good enough and better than one then use youtube shorts like that's how i was able to build my community as well so quickly and you don't have to necessarily create content that's in your niche you can create content that's outside of your niche maybe a niche that you want to test out youtube shorts is the perfect place for you to try out new content or to create bite-sized pieces of your already existing content to invite more people to your platform or to your page so just utilize youtube shorts i promise you guys it will do wonders for your platform and at first you might not be hitting the figures that you think you should be hitting with it just keep going and elevate your content and switch it up try out new things with youtube shorts and whatever works stick with it i know i said you should be pushing to post every single day that is the ultimate goal but when you're starting out quality is very important over quantity you could be posting a hundred pieces of content a day but if those pieces of content are not good it's not going to do anything for your platform so make sure that the pieces of content that you do put out are quality content lastly for uploading schedule don't focus so much on virality like going viral is actually not as glamorous as it looks because of yes you're going to get a lot of instant gratification new people instantly but as soon as you try to produce more content you're going to see those people are not going to be engaging with your content because of they didn't necessarily sign up for that content they only sign up for the viral piece of content so the most important thing for you is to build a community and not aim to go viral viral might actually even destroy your channel so my advice is slow and steady wins the race i think <laughs> and that is the aim with your youtube channel grow slow and steady and build a very strong and meaningful community 
now let's get into keywords so keywords are very important when you create content on youtube because that's how people discover your content and for me what has helped me so much to grow my channel is utilizing keywords to the best of my abilities a tool that really helps is vidIQ. You don't even need to use the paid version. The free version works just as well as what I have right now. And this platform will help you choose the right keywords for your video. And it'll even show you how well that keyword is performing, how many people are searching for it, how many people want to see it. All of those juicy details, vidIQ can help you. And vidIQ is actually such a great platform to also help you stay consistent and keep up with your schedule. You can literally input into the platform how many videos you want to upload a month and it will keep tabs for you and let you know you have four days, girl. Four days before you need to post your next video. Two days, girl. You got two days left for you to post your video. So vidIQ is such a great platform. It can also give you some recommendations on content that you can try out so i would really recommend vidIQ so let's start out with niche would i say a person should niche down or up well i say do what works for you if you've got multiple passions and you want to show all of those passions on youtube then do it if you have one specific passion and you just want to share that specific passion just do that the thing is people find success on youtube because they're consistent not because of they're doing different things so the trick is Find what works for you and stick to it. And if something doesn't work, then you elevate it, then you change. So because of that, I think you will decide for yourself. Do you want to try out different types of content or you feel like maybe you should niche down your content and just focus on a specific topic? So for example, with me, I had to niche down. I niche down by limiting my long form content to me speaking about my high control religious experience. People love that. I'm able to go into detail and really explain and educate. And then I have left my short form content for me to do my makeup looks and just have fun on that side of YouTube. So I think allow YouTube shows maybe to help you to see if you can try out different types of content but in the beginning I did try multiple things and then I niche down to what actually works so try out different things and keep what works and let go of what doesn't work now how do you lay out your content your content needs to always have three things a hook a body and a call to action with your hook make sure that it pulls in people people want to hear what you have to say a hook can be anything it can literally be your title it can be the first word you say when you start your video it can be an image play around with different hooks and see what actually works for you then when it comes to your body just add value that's where you're either going to entertain people where you're either going to inspire people or educate people we just want value. And then lastly, have a call to action. You don't necessarily need to have it in every single video, but a call to action is great to always remind your community to like your content, leave a comment and subscribe. Don't be scared to talk to us. Let us know what we should do after watching your content. Analytics are very important. That's where you're going to see the best posting time, the demographic of your community and what type of content they're actually looking for. So play around on YouTube studio and see what your community likes what they don't like what they engage with so for example this page on YouTube studio shows you what time is actually best for you to post your content for me I always leave it at around 6 p.m. that's when I release most of my content and I know it's a bit lighter at the top but the nice thing is I post it at 6 p.m. and for people who hop on at 7 8 9 their content is already there so they're able to engage with it because it's already on the platform so 6 p.m. for example is the best time for me right now analytics can really show you what content performs well and what content isn't performing well and sometimes it's not the content that's the problem it's you didn't use the right keywords for example this post i posted this short and look at the figures like this is so embarrassing i got i can't even say it this amount of views and i was like there's no way like this makeup look really eats because i was showing you guys two different makeup looks i was like there's no way people didn't want to see this and then i realized you know what i'm not using the right keywords and then i played around with the keywords and i tweaked it and then i repurposed the content do not be scared to repurpose your content use your content over and over it's yours you worked on it you can reshare it sometimes you do need a reminder of the beautiful work you've done so i posted it again and look at the difference look at how many views i got 
about this time around because I tweaked the keywords. Now, lastly, let's talk about aesthetics and looks. Firstly, your YouTube community needs to know what to expect. You know when you listen to a song and you're just hooked on that song and you're playing it over and over and over? Well, psychologically, it's because you know what to expect and you know what the next note, the next lyric is essentially going to be and that's why you're actually hooked on that song. YouTube is the same. Your community becomes hooked on you because they know what to expect from you. So make sure that your setup, your background, it's clear, it's clean, beautiful, it's representative of your aesthetic and make sure you show it every single time you show up on your channel. People need to know what to expect. So I know for me is that sometimes when something does well, I always feel like, oh, it did well, let me elevate. YouTube is it's different. If something works well, don't elevate it, just repeat it. But if something doesn't work out and it flops, but yet you believe in it, that's the thing that needs elevation. That's the thing that needs you to maybe work more on it. So just stick to your setup and make sure that people are able to kind of guess what's coming, if that makes sense. <laughs> and then schedule your content like scheduling your content has really changed my life because you schedule it you walk away you're done but here's something important when you post your content don't post it as public post it as unlisted and make all of the tweaks that you need so for example i post my short on youtube then i leave it as unlisted then I go to vidIQ, I work on the keywords. Once I'm happy on the keywords, I go back to YouTube and then I schedule it for 6 p.m. Or even after the posting it, I post it and I schedule it for 6 p.m. But then I go immediately to vidIQ to make sure that by 6 p.m. I've already worked on the keywords, the title and everything. So for example, if you ever post your video and it's public and then you realize there's a mistake and then you take it away and you put it on unlisted, you've basically ruined your video and it's not going to do well because you've removed it from the algorithm so it's always best to first post on and list it and then go public just a little tip i actually learned from youtube then lastly on this not every trend is for you we spoke about virality at the beginning and we're going to talk about it again here not every trend is for you remember that this is a business you're trying to build a business so make sure that every piece of content that you curate is aligned with your business and how you want your business to be represented so make sure that every trend that you align yourself with is a trend that aligns with your business so if you do decide to hop on a challenge make sure it's aligned with your community for example with me tyler put out a new amazing album and i wanted to create content with her music i'm not a dancer i do not know how to dance but i love makeup and that is what i do on my channel so i repurposed this piece of content with her music and it performed so well and yet i was still true to authentically what my channel is about so that's what i mean that not every trend is for you tweak it to make sure it's aligned with your brand lastly let's talk about the monetization Process. So I got monetized in January. That's when I hit 1,000 followers and then YouTube notified me that hey, I'm ready for monetization It will let you know they will even let you know a few subscribers before you hit the mark So don't worry YouTube will not forget about you. So I got monetized in January I put in my details in the Google AdSense side of things basically they will need your tax information they will need your address all of that just to verify you're a real person there's lots of resources on the internet for that specifically but once you've done your whole paperwork situation you're going to wait for this envelope mine took forever not because of youtube but because of the postal system in south africa oh my goodness this was supposed to come in like three weeks please tell me why it took two months it took two months i'm like over our postal services but eventually when this envelope comes it basically just helps youtube to verify your address you will open it it doesn't ha it's not a check i don't know about other countries but in south africa they will deposit the money straight into your account 
they will do that yes baby and then it's just going to come like this so you'll just open the envelope there's more details here there's a pin here and that's the pin you will use for your specific youtube channel to show them where you actually live you confirm your address and after that you can now get your money youtube pays around from the 21st of every month until the 26th so between that period so for me i was able to confirm my address literally on yes on what's that? yes on sunday i finally got my envelope guys i waited so long for this envelope i think it got delivered on friday like late afternoon but i didn't take the post because i was just like ugh, the postal services and then sunday i finally left the house and for some reason i was like let me just check and there it was i was so happy i screamed so on sunday i put in my pin and everything and literally today tuesday two days later it came in so it's that quick because i put in my details within that window of when youtube pays so once you've got your pin and everything things just happen this quickly i hope you guys enjoyed this video there's so much i can tell you i just wanted to keep everything concise and to the point if you have any questions leave them down in the description box i will get to them and there's so many things i can talk about as well like there's so many things that grow a youtube channel besides from just posting and creating content editing and all of those things if you guys want more information on that just ask me but community management is very important creating engaging posts is very important being inspired to create content and building a schedule that actually works for you is so important so there's so many other things i can talk about if you're interested just let me know and i'll create a video for you my beautiful people thank you so much for stopping by and i will see you in the next one